Welcome to Famous Fortunes. I hope you are well. Welcome back, Nosy Parkers. <laughs> Welcome back to Famous Fortunes. Let's get into today's episode. We've had some questions come in. There is some, apparently, some dark clouds over Meghan and Harry's royal tour. Let that sink in. Royal tour to New York City. <laughs> there's some. There's some questions. People have questions. In fact, there are quite a number of questions uh, surrounding this. I'm not sure if controversy is the right word, but I think people have some concerns. Questions and concerns, and that's what we're going to investigate today. We're going to investigate gossip, allegations, hearsay, all that type of thing today. That's what we're going to get into. So let that be known. If you have a question for a future video, go ahead and let it be known in the comments below. If you would like to support the channel, go ahead and join Team Famous Fortunes. First up, our first question for today, were they fighting? Let's ask that question. Were they fighting? Now, these questions supposedly come from reputable, reputable being the operative word, reputable Quora and IG sites, Instagram, I'm, I would imagine. So that's what people are saying, all right? People are saying these things. And I've got a list of questions, okay? I have a little list that I have been provided and I'm gonna go over these questions. First question, were they fighting in New York City? Let's ask that question. Were they fighting? And each other, not anyone else or you know, children or small children or anything like that. That's, that's We're just going to stick to that question, okay? Were they fighting each other? Let's ask that. Cards are hot. We have the Nine of Swords, Two of Cups, the Hierophant, that's a strange card, that's a very, very odd card actually, in fact, uh, the Two of Wands, and the Nine of Wands, oh, okay, so Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands, Two of Cups, the Hierophant. Underlying energy here, Three of Cups. Um, look, the, the, nine of, the Nine of Wands... Let's talk about these Nines first. The Two of Cups is obviously their partnership, right? It's their... You know, whatever you would characterize it as. <laughs> All right, fill in the blank, but it's their partnership. Uh, nine of Swords, Nine of Wands... You know, someone's stressing here. Someone's stressing. Someone is, you know, whether this be, you know, I'm not sure on what level you could say here with the Nine of Wands, but it's some form of uh, distress or injury or suffering on some way, in some way. It looks like suffering is on the cards. Now, the question is, the, the broader question is, is this just what their life is like on a day-to-day -day basis? Uh, possibly, possibly we should look into that episode, in another episode, I actually was thinking that we were even discussing that yesterday, so let that be known. But, you know, there's, there's someone's a bit worse for wear here, and with the Nine of Swords, it's it looks, you know... The Nine of Swords is a very uh, mental card, whereas the Nine of Wands could be, you know, a little bit more third dimensional. But in any event, uh, the the Hierophant is a very, very strange card. And to that, I will drink some tea. It's very strange. Now, the Hierophant, what does the Hierophant represent? Who could the Hierophant be? Because it, it, it is someone that is in a position of authority. 
it is someone that is What type of professions could we be talking about here? Doctors, we could be talking about doctors, we could be talking about um, politicians, we could be talking about counsellors, we could be talking about uh, psychiatrists, potentially psychologists as well, as all those type of things can fall under the banner of the Hierophant. Very, very strange card. You know what? Let's clarify it. Let's actually clarify its meaning because it is very, very peculiar to see in such a question. And it is, if you look, the only major arcana on the table as we speak. So, And it's in the middle position. So there's something... Something's here. It's... We're getting more... You know, we're getting really the, the the reality of what's happened, but it's, you know, is it related to our question in a meaningful way or is it too, you know, abstract to bring forward? Well, you know, we'll see what happens. Let's clarify this Hierophant. What are we talking about with the Hierophant card? What is it trying to tell us? Cards are hot. All right, so... Page of Wands, Page of Cups, two pages, that makes a change, and Strength. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, okay, so, yep. Uh, it looks like someone's... Oh, I mean, you've got you've got two pages and someone that's using more strength than necessary. So uh, let that be known. Whatever could that mean? Whatever could that mean? It's hard to say. I have no idea what that could mean. What a very very strange uh, set of cards. How to interpret these cards? Very strange. Let's move on. Let's let's just move right along. Nothing to see here, folks. Didn't get much out of that one. All right. So question number two, did they sleep in separate beds? Let's ask that question. Did they sleep in separate beds? Yes, these are a, little, a legitimate list of questions I've been presented with and I will address each of these points because we are Nosy Parkers. And that's what we do. Team Nosy Parker. <laughs> if you want to join Team Nosy Parker, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. <laughs> if you're a Nosy Parker, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you ever wanted to know things outside of the, the the realm of normal human insight, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Right. Do they sleep? Did they sleep in separate beds in New York City? Again, we'd probably need a baseline reading as to how things usually are to see how significant this is. But let's go ahead and ask the question. Eight of Wands, Strength, Two of Wands, Hanged Man, and the Moon. Underlying energy, the Emperor. The Emperor, I would say the Emperor, abstractly, he probably would represent a bed. Uh, just because of its four corners and its structure. Now that's a very abstract take on the Emperor card, but I'm, that's, what I'm, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm serving up today. That's what I'm seeing. In any event, did they sleep? No. I think someone... I think separately. No, I, I don't think so. No, I'm not sure they're sharing beds in New York City. I am not... I'm not seeing that. I'm not seeing that. Now, that's just... That's just my take on these cards. The question is... Oh, here we go. I was going to ask why. The next question is, the reason was not as suggested as above. Why didn't they sleep in the same bed? All right, well, I was going to ask why. You really wanted to know why. Let's ask the question why. Why not? If you like Juicy Goss, 
go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you want to hear the craziest terror story of my entire life, at 10,000 subscribers, I will tell you in a TN Tower episode, let that be known. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead. Smash that subscribe button. Why weren't they sleeping in the same bed? Cards are hot. All right. The Emperor. There it is. The Lovers. Okay. Ten of Cups. Temperance and the Four of Cups. Underlying energy, here it is. Five of Pentacles. And actually, we'll throw you one more. Nine of Swords. One more. One more. Eight of Cups. Underlying energies are saying a lot. You know, we've got we've got the lovers here. We've got the lovers. We have the Emperor. I'm as I said, I stand by the Emperor being the bed. Alright. Okay, it's it's a four numero, numero, numerology, so four corners. It's a very solid platform, the Emperor. It's a very solid foundation. In any event, it's a bed. The lovers, the bed. You know, temperance here, someone's, someone's being patient, someone's disappointed. Uh, someone, under, underlying energy with the five of pentacles, the nine of swords, here it is again, and the eight of cups. Someone's walking away, they're stressed, they're mm, stressed, disappointed, someone's perhaps walking, walked out of the bed, and maybe not, you know, who knows, maybe they're not allowed in the bed, uh, but they're not, they're not in the bed, why? Uh, five of Pentacles, it looks to me like, hmm, maybe they're not, Maybe someone's not feeling too well. Maybe, maybe that's what we're seeing. Hmm. Someone's disappointed. Bit of disappointment going on here. Hmm. Interesting cards. Five. I think the, the mystery to this lies in the Five of Pentacles. So you know, as always, let's go and clarify. Let's clarify. It's 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 looking a little bit. Like someone's not having a good time. Okay, cards are hot. We have Nine of Wands again, the Magician, and the King of Cups. So, yep, someone's uh, someone is not having a good time. That's really <laughs> someone's not too well, one way or another. Interesting, interesting cards. I wonder why that is. We could go on and on and on, digging and diving, but the answers aren't too forthcoming. Next question. Did they get kicked out of the UN due to a mic being found? Now that's an interesting one. Let's find out. Someone's unwell. Just so you know, with that five pentacles, someone's unwell. I mean, it could even be like a, someone's really drunk or, you know, it could be something like that. Nine of wands, five of pentacles. If you've ever felt like the Nine of Wands or the Five of Pentacles, go ahead and hit that like button. All right, let's find out. They're getting kicked out of the UN. Did they get kicked out of the UN? I mean, can you imagine if that hit the media and that happened? Did they get kicked out of the UN? Cards are hot. 
separate them there. What do we have? Eight of Pentacles. Three of Wands of the World. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Wands. No, I'm not. Uh, am I seeing? No, I'm not seeing that. Ace of Cups. I'm not seeing that. I'm not seeing it kicked out of the UN. Uh, I'm not seeing that on the cards. Uh, they're there for business purposes, you know, the Eight of Pentacles. They're looking to broaden their horizons, even internationally. Now, whether that be, you know, world, they want to go worldwide. So let that be known. They, they don't want, uh, they don't want necessarily, this actually could provide a lot of clues here. It doesn't, I think maybe, you know, a, a state thing or a federal thing is too narrow in focus. Remember these, remember royals, they, they tour countries, they, you know, all the rest of it. Uh, I think that perhaps setting their sights on the UN is uh, the, you know, would be, if you were to think about it, now that I'm seeing these cards, it's prompting me. If you think about where that, where Harry and, you know, his partner have been, been, you know, touring the world and Africa and Australia and, you know, all that type of stuff. Uh, it, it's, it, it just doesn't fit the uh, MO to sort of just bunker down in one state or even one country. So the United Nations, uh, United Nations, I think is a good fit in terms of what I'm seeing on the cards. It's making, hey, it's making a lot of sense. Now, there's a messenger here. There's a, there's a messenger person here at the UN. There's some little helper maybe they have in the United Nations. There's a person that's helping them there with an opportunity. There's an offer of opportunity or they're looking for an offer of opportunity. So were they kicked out? No, 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 I'm not seeing that. I am not seeing a termination of visit or anything like that, but I am seeing, you know, interesting, we've asked this question. We're looking for goss. We have found some goss, and that's the beauty of the tarot. It's not always the goss you want or you have in your mind, but it's it's certainly goss nevertheless. So this is actually a pretty big deal. Um, if you think about the tour, it makes a lot of sense now once you think about these cards. So here we go. Hit the, we've hit a bit of a, a bit of a nugget. Tarot prospecting today, we've hit a bit of a nug. So, a nug with the Ace of Pentacles, we've hit a nugget. So, it looks like they're looking for nuggets too. Looking to go worldwide. Looking to go worldwide. What a fitting, uh, what a fitting, a fitting avenue for them to pursue. That would make a lot of sense given, you know, their uh, history. I think that's, that's a... It actually makes a lot of sense, and I'm surprised people haven't focused on this more. But it's definitely the, uh, I think it's definitely the focus. They want to go worldwide. All right, so. Okay, here we go. Last question. Was she wearing a bodysuit? <laughs> okay, let's ask the question. Let's ask the question. Okay. Was she wearing a bodysuit? You know what? The question on the face of it may seem to some people. Mm, I know why would you ask it? But you know, I always think it's not necessarily the question you ask that's interesting. It's the answer you get. And just as we saw with the UN, which has kind of really given up their intentions, that spread, uh, we may get something interesting here. An interesting nug. All right. So let's hope. Let's hope for some big fat nugs. All right, cards are hot. What do we have? Oh, bending my card. There it is again, nine of swords. There it is again. We are almost coming full circle in today's reading. The Lovers. Five of Swords. Death. Two Major Arcana. Two of Cups. Underlying Energy. Eight of Cups. So why is she wearing a bodysuit? Well, 
Was she wearing a bodysuit? Okay, that's the question. Was she wearing a bodysuit? I'm not seeing that on the cards. Okay, I'm not seeing that or a clue to that that could be the case. But nevertheless, we have some interesting cards because we've got this idea of, you know, a pair of uh, a, a couple. You know, in fact, we have two couple cards, the lovers and the two of cups. So we've got this idea of partnership and, you know, romantic interest, all that. Uh, which is an interesting thing to dial up given the question. Now, Five of Swords and Death. If I had to just read these cards without the question, right? Which I'm not saying is a valid way to look at tarot, but in any event, it looks like someone's worried here. Someone's worried. There's a feeling of... That the relationship here is not going super well with the, the five of swords and the death card it looks like someone's walking away in the underlying energy here uh, which we did see in fact in the, the one of the questions there was a walking away mm, we saw the love it was the bed it was the bed question the bed question so there's funnily enough we, we seem to be tying into perhaps how the trip went for them how did the let's ask that question how did the trip go for their relationship let's ask that as a bonus question have not prepared this, but how did they? How did it go from a relationship standpoint? Team Nosy Parker checking in. Let's do it. How did it go from a relationship standpoint? Cards are hot. Six of Wands, Ace of Cups, Seven of Wands, the Star, and the King of... The King of Effing Swords? <laughs> what are you doing here, mate? Oh, look at this. Nine of Wands and the Devil. The Devil. Hey, hey. Team Famous Fortune. Look what I found. Look what I found. Look what I found. That's it. Devil Swear Jar. Right. So... The, <laughs> the King of Swords. How, how did the trip go for the relationship King of Swords? I tell you what, you can't even make this up. Team Famous Fortunes. You all know we've seen the King of Swords uh, way too many times. Way too many times than should be happening for uh, Meghan, Meghan Markle in particular. Seems to be a guy in New York that is the King of Swords. We have just seen him. He's just popped up over and over again. He is just there. He is just, he just hanging around, is he? I mean, what is going on here? In fact, I'm thinking we do a whole TN Tower episode on this guy. We need to find out who you are, King of Swords. So, we're going to find out. We're going to find out who this guy is. All right. Well, I'm on to you, King of Swords. I will find you. I'm going to be like Liam Neeson without the violence. <laughs> Let that be known. Liam Neeson with tarot cards. That's going to be me. All right. That's going to be me. So, let it be known. Let it be known. I will find you. I will hunt you down. I will find you, King of Swords. All right. Good to know. Good to know. So I'm, I'm pumped for it. I'm going to find you, King of Swords. And we're going to we're gonna find out who you are in an episode of, of TN Tarot. We're going to need a whole episode, I think, to find you. We're going to go over all the different possibilities of who you could be, but we will find you. We're going to find out where you are 
who you are, what you do, and what your involvement is. All right, because this is just getting a little bit too, a little bit too. Uh, this is getting a little bit too close for comfort. I think we're gonna need to find out who you are. So. Uh, If you'd like to comment on the King of Swords, let it be known in the comments below. And other than that, I will see you in the comment section.